Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to discuss the life of Sojourner Truth. Hmm, who exactly is Sojourner Truth? And how did she contribute to American history? Well, here's what you need to know about Sojourner Truth. She's awesome. What makes her so awesome? Well, here's some adjectives that describe Sojourner Truth. She was courageous. She was vigilant. She was devoted. She was righteous. She was godly. She was an abolitionist. She was an orator. She was an author. She was a women's rights advocate. She was a former slave. And she was influential. So Joyner Truth was a very exceptional person and someone that's worth noting today. She was born around the year of 1797, but we're not exactly sure. We do know that she was born into slavery in New York. In 1800, she was sold to Colonel Charles Hardenberg. In 1808, she was sold to John Neely. In 1809, she was sold to Martin Shriver. In 1810, she was sold again to John Dumont. In 1814, Sojourner jumped the broom. What does that mean? Well, she got married, and she married another slave named Thomas. In 1826, she was sold to the Van Wagner family, who were Quakers, and was subsequently set free. In 1828, she moved to New York City with her son Peter. In 1843, Sojourner Truth became her new adopted name. In 1850, the narrative of Sojourner Truth was published. It was an autobiography recalling stories from her entire life. In 1851, Sojourner gave a famous speech at the Women's Rights Convention of 1851. The famous speech is known as Ain't I a Woman, where she was laboring and fighting and speaking out for the adoption of women's rights in the United States. In Sojourner Truth's Ain't I a Woman speech, she loudly proclaimed, how came Jesus came into the world? Through God who created him and woman who bore him. Man, where is your part? But the women are coming up blessed by God and few of the men are coming up with them. But man is in a tight place. The poor slave is on him. Woman is coming on him and he is surely between a hawk and a buzzard. In 1857, Sojourner moved to Battle Creek, Michigan. In 1863... President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which formally ended slavery in the United States. In 1864, Sojourner met with President Abraham Lincoln and then subsequently worked for the Freedmen's Bureau in Washington, D.C. In 1883, Sojourner Truth died in Battle Creek, Michigan. Before passing away, Sojourner Truth comforted her friends by telling them, I am not going to die. I'm going home like a shooting star. Now that's what I'm talking about. In 1997, NASA named its Mars Pathfinder robot after Sojourner Truth. One of my favorite quotes from Sojourner Truth focuses on women's rights, especially as a matter of human rights. If women want any rights more than they'd got, why don't they just take them and not be talking about it? I think it's my obligation to leave you with a truthful ending. I love what Sojourner Truth said. Truth is powerful and it prevails. And so did she. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to connect with us. Check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. And head on over to our Pinterest page. If you like this video, I've got a ton of videos over at my YouTube channel. Check it out. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.